Hello. Well, I'm coming before you again. Um, dear world, we're going through something we've never gone through before. And so I am coming to say that what the deal is, is prophecy. That means the things that are supposed to happen in the last days. Um, this is, you know, of course, biblical. Um, to encourage people while you're stuck at home, do some research. If you care about making it to heaven, um, if we do happen to be living in the last days, this is what the deal is, is that the one world government set up to where um, people can't ultimately at some point buy or sell without the mark of the beast. And if you take the mark of the beast, which is that 666 number, you will not um, make it to heaven. During the tribulation time, uh, God says that there's going to be multitudes and multitudes of people who do receive him. Because the first thing that will happen is the Antichrist will begin to set himself up, preparing the way for him to take over the whole world and deceive men. So in Jesus, we won't be deceived. So that's why he's so important and a very super close relationship with God that you can't have without Jesus. And that's not anybody's opinion. That's what God himself says. So, you know, nobody's done what Jesus has done for us. But anyway, uh, just like right now, how the stores are emptied out. And if they said to you tomorrow, well, you can have all the toilet paper that you need. <laughs> and everything else. Nothing will be out of reach to you. All you have to do is take the number 666 the mark of the beast, would you take it? Or would you say, no, I choose Jesus? And then they said, well, if you don't choose the mark of the beast, then you'll be beheaded. Will you be willing to be beheaded uh, to not follow the Antichrist? Anyway, there's prophetic things that can be researched and found out through ministers and stuff. So um, through reading the Bible, Isaiah, uh, some things in Esther, and then uh, all throughout the New Testament and Revelation, Second Thessalonians 2. And uh, Jesus said to, to understand and discern the times that we live in so that we won't be deceived. If in case we're living in that time. And the reason I say this is because there are, very many, there are many prophetic things happening. One of the things is the Sanhedrin in Israel gathered together 70 nations to do a sacrificial lamb. Well, Jesus is the Lamb of God, and for them to do this means they're calling on their, quote, Christ, which will be the Antichrist. So, all I'm saying is, ding dong, wake up. <laughs> and me too. Everybody, you know, there's just so many times and so many ways we choose ourselves and sin and everything else in the world. And God's, God's not trying to steal our fun and our life. He's trying to save our life. Just like if somebody was on a sinking ship, you know, and the captain's trying to save us from drowning, whatever. But uh, anyway, I don't know if this is what we're living in, if they're getting ready to try to set up a one world order. Um, you know, it may or may not be true, but there's just a lot of things happening that that seem to be that we could be living. And lots of people are getting a lot of dreams and visions from God. I myself had one, and it was real quick and simple, uh, but powerful and sweet. I was suddenly before a banquet table, and I was standing on one end, and Jesus was coming towards the other end, to the ta other end of the table, the head of the table. And it was just he and I, um, but everybody's place was set, and he was letting me know that the marriage supper of the Lamb is very soon, and that'll happen in heaven um, for those um, who love the Lord and will go with him when he calls those who are his to meet him in the air. And um, so anyway, I'm talking on, but maybe use this time to research and let God you know, really draw you to himself because there'll come a time when people who don't want the Lord will fall into deception by their own hand, I guess you'd say. But God only loves us and only, you know, wants to bless us with his love and 
know him here and forever in heaven and not be in darkness for all eternity. Okay, peace out.